I am so proud of this little lady. I can't believe it's been so long since I've seen her. We are excited to welcome our next guest back. Not many people, let alone teenagers, can say they have been honored by the Vatican. But this little lady proves that her talent is nothing ordinary. Meet 15-year-old Autumn DeForest. Remember, uh, it's been, what, six, seven years ago, Autumn, you were on the show? Uh, yes, I believe I was uh, seven year, uh, eight or nine years old. Yeah, yeah, and you had already done the national show circuit. You've been <laughs> on all the morning shows. Everybody wanted You are truly a prodigy. Oh, thank you so much, and it's so wonderful to be back on. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout these years. Absolutely. Okay, first of all, what has been going on? We're going to get to that Pope story in just a second, <laughs> but what's been going on with you? Oh, wow, it's been um, such a wonderful opportunity to be able to uh, be working with all these fantastic organizations that be working with such as the President's Committee on Arts and Humanities, yeah. um, working with kids, painting with underprivileged children, yeah. um, being able to uh, inspire and empower them to do what they love to do. Yeah, give us a little bit of your background. How did all this get started? <laughs> well, um, I skipped out in the garage when I was in my late fives. Uh, <laughs> your late fives? Okay, go ahead. Um, and I asked my father if I could mess around and he said sure. So I just picked up the paintbrush and yeah. uh, I started painting and he turned around and he looked so surprised and I didn't quite understand what he was so surprised about. He said it looked like a Rothko and I had no idea what a Rothko was back then, but he's one of my favorite artists now. Wow. Since that day, I've learned that painting was my passion and it's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Yeah, and you've done a real good job, my friend. Okay, <laughs> Thank um, you. we're talking folks, her pieces are selling for thousands of of dollars. We're talking big money. Talk about this meeting with the Pope young lady. This was like the bomb. <laughs> Tell me about that day. What happened? How did it come together? Well, um, I had a painting uh, prepared for Pope Francis. I had just uh, recently, uh, in November of 2015, I had mm -hmm. won the Giuseppe Sacca Foundation for Arts and Culture Foundation hand in hand with the Vatican. And okay. um, they said that uh, you might be able to, to meet the Pope. And I had a painting uh, uh, ready and was able to present to him. Yeah. And the day before I was able to meet with him, the Paris attacks occurred. Oh, man. And it was, oh, I was devastated. I was devastated that all those people were grieving and they right, were in pain. Right, and yeah. I was I was so sad. So I said, you know what? I want to turn this painting into an opportunity to spread awareness for what happened there. So okay. I was actually, the next day, they said, you're in. You're able to meet him. So I said, oh, my goodness. And I talked with him a little bit. We actually talked about all those um, those people. There, that oh, there's was, a picture you talked yes. to the Oh, and you're 15 years old. Yes, and he Anna, blessed me. Autumn, I mean, oh, I'm just like. He blessed the peace. I am floored. <laughs> that is amazing. Really, it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so where can everybody catch you? You're in Vegas. What are you doing here? So, um, actually, I would love to invite everyone to the Gallery of Music and Art okay. on the third floor of the Forum Shops. It's actually my first time exhibiting in Las Vegas, and my paintings are for sale. Um, I'll be making appearances there about every month or so. You can actually find all the okay. information at galleryofmusicandart.com and their Facebook page to see um, times and days of my appearances. Okay, so, you, you know, you're doing a lot lot of grown-up things you know this and you've always been a grown-up even when you were a little girl and you came here but you're still a teenager how has life changed for you what is it like can you still hang out with friends or of course yeah absolutely um, you know my artwork has really changed definitely through yeah. the years uh, my series have changed my inspiration has certainly changed sure. um, and you know looking at my artwork from from when I was five years old and when I first came on the show yeah. to here um, I'm able to see you know how my inspiration and change how I was able to um, completely kind of morph my paintings into a whole new You've series. you matured. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different world here. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to ask you this just because your dad is sitting there. <laughs> Got a boyfriend? <laughs> Look, dad is filming right now. I bet you the camera just stopped. But <laughs> Notice she didn't answer, so we're all done. Autumn, good seeing you again, <laughs> it's honey. Congratulations. Great to see you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Oh, yeah, this is, I, I don't even want to show you what I can do on the canvas. Jason, back to you. Oh, man, you left us hanging. What is it, The Bachelor or something? <laughs> man. All right, thanks, guys.